You like it a sauce? Today we're gonna make the Greek version of that. Tzatziki sauce. The garlicky, cucumber, yogurt sauce that's gonna bring everyone together or push them away from you. Let's start. <laughs> Today's recipe is brought to you by garlic. Yes, that's right. If you weren't trying to ward off vampires before, you definitely will be now. And for that matter, you're probably gonna ward off everyone close to you. But who really cares? Tzatziki is addictive. Okay, first we're gonna take one large cucumber, flip it just because, and with a vegetable peeler, remove all of the outside layer. Once that's done, grab your grater and begin to grate the entire cucumber into a bowl until there's nothing left. Now here's one of the most important steps to making tzatziki. Take a cotton towel, or in this case I'm using a cheesecloth, and put your grated cucumber inside. Once placed, take the same bowl you had the cucumber in, and begin to squeeze out all of the moisture right out of the cucumber. It's really important to make sure that you get all of the moisture out of this, otherwise we're going to end up with a very liquidy tzatziki, and believe me, no one wants that. Now that that's out of the way, empty all of the liquid out of the bowl, then add back our cucumber, where we'll then add in four to five cloves of minced garlic. Okay, so some of you are probably like, Evan, that's way too much garlic. How am I supposed to go near my significant other after eating this? Listen, if they go near you after eating this, your love is true. If not, you might want to reassess your life choices, or I guess you could just put less garlic in it if you're not willing to risk it all. Either way, you can get away with one or two cloves, but where's the fun in that? Next, we're going to add in eight grams or one teaspoon of black pepper and the juice of half a lemon. Once you've added in your lemon, we're going to put 500 grams or 17 ounces of full fat plain Greek yogurt. What? You're using full fat? Yes. Yes I am. It brings down a richness to the tzatziki that's unmatched if you use 2% or fat free. Also, it's super important that you use plain Greek yogurt when you're doing this. It's the only way that you can make sure that your tzatziki is thick and creamy. Now, if there's one thing that you've all gotten from watching my videos so far, it's that I love Greek extra virgin olive oil. More specifically, I love Midas, and you can get it delivered right to your house. Check out the link in the description so you can taste it too. Anyway, we're going to add in 30 milliliters or two tablespoons of olive oil, and also 30 milliliters or two tablespoons of white vinegar. Sorry guys, I know I didn't film that step, but I'm still learning this video thing. Lastly, we add eight grams or one teaspoon of kosher salt, and we mix this bad boy up so everyone can get to know each other. Now one thing that you're gonna notice is that I didn't add any dill and I'm sure that I've upset some tzatziki purists but I really don't like dill. You can certainly add some into the mix if you like but you know just chop a bunch up and, and add it in. Once everything is combined give it a taste see if you're breathing fire from all the garlic and if you are you're ready to start plating. Add some olive oil and dried oregano on top and it's ready to spread on just about anything you like. So I guess I have one question left for all of you. You like it a sauce? If you like what you saw in this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Also, if you want the full recipe in a written format, go to my website, evancaris.com, for the whole thing. See you guys next week.